Obviously a big moment in your career, I mean, a, a debut UFC victory. Give us an idea of what the emotion is like for you right now. Um, you know, I would say it was over, it's overwhelming, which it is a bit, but I knew I knew that I was going to be here when I was in third grade. I knew I'm going to fight in UFC. And uh, I said it before, if it, it wasn't if, but when. And uh, yeah, it's surreal, you know, but this is this really is just a start for me. And uh, I know I'm going to do extremely well in this company, and I'm going to get to the top. Believing in yourself and knowing that you're going to be here the way you do. What about last time? You know, a day out, you, you get sick and, and, and you got to pull out. What was that like for you, like dealing with that emotion? Did you feel like, I, I'm cursed, or what's going on here? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely cursed. I've been, I've been through so much, and uh, that was really just a little, little, little bump in my bumpy, windy road. So, I mean, I just dealt with it. A couple days, I was, you know, upset, and I uh, just got back on the horse, got back in the gym, and now I'm here, and I just uh, crushed my first UFC fight. I know you apologize for the, uh, for the weight miss there. Let us know, uh, I mean, what, what did happen? Um, well, I was cutting weight. I was a couple pounds away. I ate some salmon from the hotel, and I got food poisoning. And uh, you I went food to poisoning again this time. Oh, this time? Yeah. No, no. I thought you, I thought no. you were talking about my life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, was uh, like, I got the call on four weeks' notice this time, and I just got back from the UFC athlete retreat, and I was uh, 179 pounds. Uh, I hired a nutritionist, and uh, you know, I, I worked my butt off. You know, I got, I lost 29 pounds. I got to 149 yesterday, and uh, it just wouldn't. Just want to come off extremely unprofessional to show up and miss weight, and I'm sorry to my opponent, to the to the UFC, and all my fans, and uh, it won't happen again. Talk about your performance tonight. Obviously, an entertaining fight, and he was a, a tough guy, man. It looked like he, he he didn't want to go away. No, he definitely didn't. He was hanging in there, you know, squirming around on the floor while I was uh, pulverizing him. But um, you know. Um, I forgot the question. You said. How did you feel about yourself and, and, how, and how it went? You know? um, oh, I feel great. You know, like it was a it was a tough fight. He definitely kicks fast. I'm a little banged up, but uh, you know, I knew I was going to pressure him and walk him down and, and get the win. So you've had this all planned out. What's 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 next for you? Um, I would love to fight in New York. Uh, they have a Long Island card, and I know they have a Madison Square Garden card. I live in Astoria, Queens. I train in Manhattan every day. I go to Henzo Gracie's and Church Street Boxing, which are literally blocks from Madison Square Garden. So I would love to fight in my city. It is five months away, and I want to stay busy. But, uh, you know, if they call me and say you want to fight next week, and I'm ready, I'll do it. So, so you'd be ready for Long Island? If, if oh, yeah. If someone falls off or they need an extra guy, I'm there. And then Madison Square Garden. What's the conversation like, you know, with the USC press? <laughs> Man, I'm like, wow, I did all this work to get here and I'm, and I'm screwing up while I'm here. I never missed weight in my career before until this time. And uh, when, uh, when that happened, I was just, you know, really upset. And then I thought to myself, well, when you do good things, bad things tend to go away. So it was awesome for me to go in there and put on an exciting fight, you know, get the crowd going. And, and that's what I did. And I believe, uh, you know, even though I don't believe I'm eligible for the bonus, the fight of the night or whatever it is for the UFC fight pass, I definitely put on the best fight on, on the UFC fight pass. So I guess that's all that really matters. I'll just have to take the consequences for what they are and move on and learn from it. They asked me that already, right? They already asked me that. OK, great. Did you feel like you had to uh, make a lot of adjustments during a fight, or did you feel like you were delivering on your, on your fight plan? Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to pressure him. I could have been in his chest a little more. You know, I box a lot with my uh, with my striking coach and my head coach, uh, Jason Strout. And, uh, you know, I'm not a long, big guy. You know, I'm short, even for 145, and it's hard for me to get there. But these guys are long and tall. But I got to be in people's chests more, you know, and, and keep the, the game short and tight. And uh, that's what I did for most part. There was times where I was kind of being hesitant and letting him, letting him find his range. But once I stepped in and got him moving backwards, he couldn't do anything. And I had him on his heels the whole fight. Did you feel like the stoppage of the fight was warranted, or did you feel like he had? It seemed like he probably could have gone a little more. Or did you feel like he was like? I thought they should have stopped it earlier. That's what a lot of people already said to me. It's only been five minutes since the fight. But uh, I was like landing vicious elbows and punches to this guy's face, and and you know the ref let him go for a little longer than I thought he should. I was like choking him and punching him like like he was my child, you know. <laughs> and uh, but hey, I got the stoppage, and that's all that matters. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks, man.